Hello guys, this is Vikas here and this is We Are Genius. Guys, today I am going to start a new series of video that is around Arduino and that will include like installation of Arduino IDE to a system and connecting Arduino to your PC to sensors and other peripherals interfacing to your Arduino. So enjoy the tutorials, be with me and that's all, let's get started. After Arduino board, one and only thing required for Arduino programming is the Arduino IDE. So to download the Arduino IDE, if you don't have, if you are having, then this is good. If you don't have, just visit www.arduino.cc Then, okay. then over here, go to download page. Uh, so this is the download page and uh, for this time being it's showing the latest arduino that is uh, arduino id available and that is arduino 1.6.8 over here you can see and depending upon your operating system you can download the corresponding id like uh, for mac os x like linux and for my system this is windows uh, so i can download any of this this uh, id but actually I don't like to install the software into my system so instead of that I can just download the zip file it, it never get installed into a system you can directly use out of the box you don't need to install into your system okay so let's download it uh, it's going to take a couple of minutes after downloading the zip file just unzip it and you'll see a file like arduino.exe just double click it now as soon as you open uh, you may file uh, find a file like this where uh, there is like some setup and some demo codes or uh, something like some demo codes you can say and that's just it nothing else these two codes so before going to that, I just like to tell what different menus are there, what can I do, okay. First thing first, this button is to verify. Suppose you have written some code and you don't want to check it after uploading or something, right? Because if your code, if something has gone bad, your ID will not allow you to upload it to the RTN, right? So you can just click it and check. It compiles the code and if any error exists, they put it to you over here in this is the console for compilation and play. right over here the source and uh, I will give uh, 0% of dynamic memory okay. let's say I'll, uh, I write something wrong over here let's say that is good and I'll click on verify okay it's asking me to save the states I can just go to uh, like my desktop and I can save with any file name. Like right now, I'm saving it tutorial. So you can see here it is showing like was not declared in the scope. That means some error is there, but I have just turned up the browser rights. So it created it. And so, it so next button is like upload. After you completed your code, everything object. Uh, like you have finalized you can just click on upload button so if what it does is it compiles the code and just it's showing some error because my system is not connected to Arduino right now but uh, when I get connected it will, uh, it will definitely upload it to my Arduino next is new like if I want to open a new tab or new code I think it will uh, like open I can just click on it open a new file button. Open, next is your open suppose I want to open some old files or something from my inbuilt library or library which I have added separately okay. then this is save button suppose I have written something I don't want to compile it 
I just want to save it. So I can go click that button and save, save, save it to my And this is the serial monitor. Suppose I am communicating with my Arduino like uh, some serial communication like I want to put some sensor data into the system. So I don't want to go for a separate or proper serial monitor. Arduino has it. I can just click it. Okay. So I, it will just pop up a serial window. I have not connected to Arduino. I am not connected to Arduino. That's why it's saying code at comp is not available. Okay. These are the all the basic menus. So those we are uh, going to work with. So after you have attached your uh, Arduino, I am not going to show you how to install driver and connecting the Arduino to the computer. After uh, you just uh, do it yourself or if you uh, have some confusion or you want, or you want to know about it, leave it in the comment, I will reply get back to you. So after connecting Arduino to a USB cable to a computer, go to tools. Here you can see post different ports are there. Like mine com one com fifteen. So select your port where the Arduino is connected, actual Arduino is connected. You can just verify it over here. Go to your my computer, right click it, go to manage. Go to device manager. And under ports, you can see here it is showing like silicon labs p 2 usb to usb base. Because I am using, I am not using on Arduino, it's uh, a local version of Arduino what I am using. So it contains cp 2 to usb to usb base. So just note down the com port where it is connected. If you are using genuine Arduino, it will show Arduino Inno or something. Okay. So, note down the com port and under tools, in the port, select your port where the Arduino is connected. Okay. So, if you have noted the port. Then, on processor, I can check admin 328 or 168. And under board, you just select whatever board you are using. Right now, I am using Arduino Inno. So, I just need to click it. Now I can just simply open the serial port because last time we were having some error, right? Because Arduino is not created. Here you can see. I just opened it from port. It's uh, putting some garbage onto it because I've already uh, burned some sketches onto it. That is having some set connection that is putting garbage on the over here. Right? So here uh, come come to the port part. So you'll find setup and loop there, right? Initially, so these two features are there. Whenever you open Arduino, it will show you two features. Setup and loop. So what is this actually? So you uh, must have understood that uh, whenever you are going to program at uh, something like embedded systems, microcontrollers and all, it's just like we definitely write a implement while loop, right? While two or while one something. Because we want to constantly check for inputs and currently we have to give some output and so we want to monitor sensors or something. Because that has to be done continuously, right? You can't just exit the processor. Right? So Arduino is uh, derived in a nice way because here they have separated. Like you don't want to write uh, write like main code or something like we write in C C. So they have provided two simple functions like setup and loop. Setup contains all the ports, those are executed once only. Like if you want to put a API of uh, your Arduino, like put or output, you can just define over here. And loop contains ports which are executed uh, in, in regular interval. Like suppose I want to check uh, pin 1, 2, 3, 4, or I want to check any analog pins, I can write down the ports of the. Okay. So, uh, let's say we'll just going to set up a simple code, write down a simple code. So without writing yourself, we can just go and check out some libraries already over there. Like examples, I can go to basic and uh, just for checking, I'll check the click program. It's, uh, coming to the program, over here it's, uh, it can do something like set up this operator on the setup. Yeah, you can see like pin mode 13 out. We are going. We will go to that next uh, tutorials or something. First, for for information, I will just say this 13 output. Actually, every Arduino board has a one LED attached to its 13 board, 13 number pin. It's onboard LED. 
so for basic checking if uh, i am able to upload my program or if my controller is working or not i can just check out the 13 number digital pin okay. so it's content or uh, as it is having a added led i can check if it is uh, like getting high or getting low i'm putting uh, like i can just blink it to check so this is simple code that makes 13 number pin output as you can see under setup it has only put the code which has to be input of once like it has made the pin 13 is output so coming to the loop here it is making the internal write 13 times and making the pin time after certain details like till a one person is more like it and detail write 13 and after that it is uh, 13 times and after that it is 13 times so this is what it is going to do is like it is going to bring the attached LED input LED in every one second on and off so this all guys for starting so we'll uh, learn something in, uh, like how to program it how to uh, read analog spins and all in the next tutorials or uh, in the meantime you can just check uh, some example codes over here thank you thanks for watching hi guys it's me once again and hope you have enjoyed the video hit the like button if you have liked uh, my video and if you don't and if you have any suggestion just you can put in the comment i'll definitely go through that stay tuned to get the latest tutorials keep watching thank you